to the channel. Boom, it's your boy KJ Raps. But anyways, as you can see, we just finished these beautiful Neo Chrome by Tech Wrap racing stripes. Hood, roof, trunk, to the back. So, y'all new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and watch the process of me doing it. I didn't get the roof and I didn't get the trunk. A little awkward to set up the tripod because it's not big enough but i laid this down and basically talked about the process and exactly how to do it so be sure to like and subscribe hit that subscribe button right there bing bing and check it out the first ever neochrome racing stripes on a dodge challenge Boom! It's your boy, the one and only KJ Raps. So check it. Right now we are pretty much doing custom stripes. And we're doing boop, 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 boop. Neo Chrome on this two, I believe it's a 2018 Dodge Challenger. Unfortunately, it's a V6, but but yeah, we won't get into all that. But anyways. I'm about to show y'all pretty much the process and how I laid everything down. Well, it's already laid down. I just have to put the knifeless tape and line it all up. Let me kind of give y'all a little bit on how I did it. I have a really good eyeball and I don't use measuring tapes, but basically I used to be pretty much an art class and I'm an artist. So when you're doing shit like this, you kind of really don't need a measuring tape. But anyways, we're doing from here to here. The bottom piece, it's like that big, so I'm not gonna waste my time trying to, it's too tedious with chrome, trying to bend it and do all that crazy stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna give y'all a little look at it. Yep, yep. So, yeah, no measuring tape. I know, I know, it look good, it look good. Boom, mm. I'm big out here. But anyways, I gotta actually go hit the gym. Well, my, my home gym is right there anyways. All right, so let's get into it. Let me lay this knifeless tape down. Pretty much show y'all how I pretty much take part in this beautiful process of doing custom stripes. Buying stripes on eBay or Amazon. Uh, not really the best because they don't have like air release technology. And that's honestly what you really want. That way you can get the bubbles out because when you buy them off eBay, whoo, good luck. I'm gonna flap this on without pulling it too much. You don't really want a lot of tension. You wanna put half the knifeless tape on the scotch tape and then half of it off the way that middle piece, that middle piece, the little line that I use will line up perfectly right on the edge of the tape. And if anybody is interested, please, you know, slide my DM. I will actually be teaching classes in December if anybody's interested in taking my advanced vinyl wrapping class on how to actually do stripes. You can learn here. You can take what you learned here and you can actually do your own custom stripes because a lot of shops charge pretty little penny because it's it's a very, very tedious job. Measuring, then you gotta go to the roof, then you gotta go to the trunk, to the bumper, and you have to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. But anyways, I'm gonna lay this down, and I'm gonna time y'all out, time lapse y'all real quick, and then I'll be back before I lay the first panel down. All right, I'm back. Sorry about the quick little time lapse. But anyways, I have the knifeless tape laid down. We got two here. You always want to put two in the middle. That way you have that little half an inch 
then this one is on the inside and this one is on the inside as well so now we're about to lay pretty much lay this middle piece down and we're about to get right into it so show y'all the process this it looks hella uh right now but it has a protective sleeve on it as you can see right there that's where the money shot is and me, I like to leave the protective sleeve on. Black white. I have a little bit to work with. First, man, this one of one right here. Keep it a hundred with y'all. One of one. Want to do this on one shot? So. Therefore, I'm gonna make my life easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. You understand me? Got coverage up there. Make sure we got enough to touch. Come around. Boom. Then this piece will basically be for the front bumper. You want to work with as less, as minimum vinyl as you possibly can. That way, it makes your life just that much easier. So we want to follow that. And that covers it there. So we're just going to take a little bit of this off. See that? See what I'm doing and how I'm doing it? Perfecto. So now we're going to go. I like to start from the top. I will remove the backing. You don't want to remove the plastic liner until you're done squeegeeing and laying it all down. My first time, my second time using chrome, and my first time ever doing chrome stripes. sit there you'll be able to work those in but make sure the knife is taken to this I'm gonna pull in a triangle thanks to my thanks to Justin Justin Tate Justin Tate actually that man is a monster when it comes to Final wrapping. Literally one of my favorite idols. So I'm going to too dearly. Great guy. Boom. Hi, baby. Alright. So we got this laid down. And what you want to do is now you got your squeegee with your buffer banana strips is the best so y'all go get those off amazon type in banana strips a little bit of water water and soap lay this down in the middle um what do you think it's subway what do you what do you want Yeah, we can do it subway. You guys gotta make sure y'all watch. Love you. I love you. 
watch with this vinyl well not the vinyl but the 3m knifeless tape that's the money maker right there so sometimes when you pull the vinyl up gotta make sure that doesn't come up with it money all right got the tape here You always want to start from the middle. He actually got a really good deal on it since I already have some of this laying around. I didn't charge him. What I would normally charge for chrome stripes. So. Maybe right there I want to come up. It doesn't really want to say cold flakes. So we gotta reapply this back down. I always watch that. Y'all can see how difficult that is. All right. Off to this side, you always want to work it half and half. The air release. Come on, Mike. We go through when we wrap for y'all. Cool. Lay it back down. Sweet. Cool. Take it back up. Just thought I'd give you guys. Let y'all see. In the world. Vinyl. Haven't subscribed yet. Come on, man. 
We all start from somewhere. I oh, got a hundred thousand plus subscribers. Best believe when we get to everybody staying real consistent. It's like 90 some degrees outside. Boom, that's all she wrote. So now, oh man, it's so hot. Look at that. I'm sweating like a mother, mother, other. All right, y'all see the process. I may just do this last, and I'm gonna show you how to do that because you don't wanna heat mine oil when it comes to this edge but you can give it a little bit of heat but you have to move the heat go really fast but we'll get right into that so i'm gonna time lapse y'all a little bit as i make the cuts and then i'm i'm back all right so now it's late time lapse y'all a little bit had to beer belly but anyways so now we're pulling the knifeless tape so let me let y'all let me show y'all, not let y'all, let me show y'all what it looks like right now before the knifeless tape is actually pulled. I know y'all probably looking like, damn, why it looks so smeared? Because the backing paper is on. Whoo! Whoo! Oh my lord, have mercy. So, all right, we can't pull that back up when there's like a little, little thing, thing. Boop. Me that. Look at that. Boop. All right, let's get into it. Let me show you how it's done. Three and knifeless tape. This is what it's for. Make sure y'all pull the chrome. Make sure y'all pull that shit quick. Chrome isn't really supposed to be cut with knifeless tape. But there's kind of no other way to pull it. So you don't really have a choice. Quick. All right. See what these bad puppies look like. We're gonna go under, make sure we grab this extra green. Boom, that's all she wrote. Gonna put on oh, my beautiful wrap glove. That's looking crazy. Got the tape coming with it. Make sure it ain't none of that, that 3M tape up under there. He folds. That side's good to go. We got two pieces here. Make sure 
sure y'all always grab, always grab these damn things. You can sit under there and it's just no wonder. That's looking crazy. Girl, I know it's fun. All right, let me stop singing again. Stand. Hood's already popped, so give me a little extra tuck. these down the rest. Oh, man. Tell me that shit don't look nice. So, whoop. That's crazy. So, these are custom stripes from the hood to the bottom. Now, I can do this now, but I'm going to wait because, you know, coming across a curve. So, this is going to be last. So, I'm going to knock the front with the roof. And then, I'm going to knock the trunk out. So, y'all stay tuned for that. But, damn. This one on one stretch right here, baby. But anyways, I'm about to post. Also, I'm about to post heat the sides and post heat the vinyl. Always post heat. That way the adhesive really sticks, even though it's sticky in a bitch. You don't really need no heat. But anyways, I'm going to do everything like I do everything. Anyways, stay tuned. Bye.